Oh man. I really don't like cameras. But I'll talk anyway. What, you want to stand behind the camera and ask you questions? Would that make it easier? No, this one isn't. Uh, <laughs> let's, let, let's give you 10 seconds to explain anything and put the camera on live TV. At least I can cut shit out. <laughs> 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 All right, first off, I'm Chris Williams. Uh, we'll exclude my middle name because it's kind of weird. Oh, it's a goofy. It, 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 oh, actually, a middle name is after my grandfather, which I respect, but the name is just. Yeah. It's a goofy name. Yeah. That's his dad's name, too, but. Oh, it doesn't describe your back? Well, when you include Christopher Harry Williams, I sound like I should be an analyst for some stupid, corny TV show. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Anyways, I'm Chris Williams uh, from South Jersey, Dirty Jersey. 18 miles southeast of Philly in a little town called Pittman. Uh, pretty much that's where I've been all my life until I moved to, wow, several different places. In the early 2000s, I moved to Florida, lived there for a year on the west coast side there with all the white beaches that are no longer white because of BP. Thank you very much. Um, <laughs> uh, I'd hate to see how the place looks now. Um, then I moved back to New Jersey and was there for several years and moved to Vegas. Uh, when I lived in Vegas, I was a production artist for the Aladdin Casino that was changing over to Planet Hollywood and the idiots were spending way too much money so they ended up releasing me. Uh, and after that, I ended up coming back to New Jersey where I partied like an animal and <laughs> didn't do much uh, after that. Um, but then I ended up going to Gettysburg. Been here ever since and we formed this daddy. Uh, pretty much the weirdest situation that I would have to say would uh, have to be that investigation in Pittman. That would definitely have to be that because that was what made me a believer, and I'll show you the picture. Yep. I'm the one that's grabbing the camera. There you go, you see that picture? Right to the right is a shadow figure. Um, I was standing, actually I was sitting in the kitchen, facing this way, and the reason why the lights are on, the TV's on, is because the investigation was complete. It was done, we were packing up, and we were ready to go, and one of our investigators, I won't say his name, uh, was sitting to the left of me and he was facing this way while I was facing that way and he was feeling pain and pressure and he had a digital camera on him and snapped over really quick and took a photo and when he started flipping through the display he noticed that put his hands up against his mouth and started reaching for me and he got that sucker um, I know for a fact nothing was in there because I was staring into that room and that made me a believer that night. The sad thing is, is a week after this photo was taken, the client died. Let me set this back up. You want plug that in for me? Thank you, boss. Uh -huh. Boss man. Uh, it's already recording, it's already set on me, right? Yep. Cool. All right, uh, investigation background. Um, steal all of John's notes, because <laughs> we've done everything together when it comes to yeah. investigating. Uh, whatever he said, I've done. We were part of the very first research organization to investigate Eastern State Penitentiary, mm -hmm. so we popped that bitch's cherry. Um, Before hard hats? And yeah. Before hats? Yeah, it was, uh, yeah. can you tell I'm nervous around the camera? Yeah. Because I am. I'm actually shaking like a leaf, you can't see me because I'm playing Cool Comp Collective. Uh -huh. You'd think I had a couple of beers, but I didn't I wish. Um, work background, I've said it before, you know, I've, I've worked in uh, several warehouses for several years all throughout New Jersey and in um, Florida. Got tired of that, ended up getting a production artist job for Aladdin Casino doing advertising and such for shows and acts coming in, famous people, you 
Stallone, et cetera, et cetera. Worked on Sylvester Stallone's party, birthday party. <laughs> but uh, then I got fired after that. Here, Chris, do this. Thanks, you won't wanna, uh, you're not invited. And in fact, you're fired. Um, <laughs> Don't uh, hold any grudges about that. Uh, actually, I hold a huge <laughs> grudge with that place because that was a total shaft. <laughs> Worst timing. Anyways, you've been, you've been uh, back a graphic in, artist. For yeah, I've been a graphic artist. Uh, thanks, John. <laughs> I've been a graphic artist um, freelance since the mid '90s, basically. Uh, I've been drawing and doing art since I was as, as old as I can remember, drawing family members and. Just got into computers and all that other good stuff, and um, I've been doing it ever since. And I do the website for IMSI. I do anything that involves graphics for IMSI with advertisements, with uh, T-shirt designs, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. You can think of it, name it. That's what I do. Uh, good deal. Other than that. Like John said, good deal. He's trying to rush me off the camera because he yeah. hates it when I'm in front of it. So um, hey, you yeah. talked more than Chris did. Okay. Yeah, well, he talked. He talked because he's Mr. Serious Man, and I'm Mr. Retard. <laughs> I'm not even gonna ask. And now it's time for Miss Pigtails. <laughs>